And in the meanwhile, the diplomatic battle between the UK and Russia is getting more intense each day after ex-Russian spy and his daughter were poisoned earlier this month. Here is the latest in the war words between the two countries. Two weeks after they were found poisoned on a Salisbury bench, diplomatic saber rattling over Russian double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia has intensified. On Saturday, Russia hit back at Putin for the expulsion of its 23 diplomats. Объявляются персонами Новграда и высылаются в недельный срок 23 дипломатических сотрудника посольства Великобритании в Москве. Учитывая диспаритет в числе консульских учреждений двух стран, отзывается согласие Российской Федерации на открытие и функционирование Генерального консульства Великобритании в Санкт-Петербурге. Moscow retaliated just a day after British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson stepped up the attack by directly blaming Russian President Vladimir Putin in Skripal's poisoning. We have nothing against uh, the Russians themselves. There is, there is to be no Russophobia as a result of what is happening. Our quarrel, our quarrel is with Putin's Kremlin and with his decision. And we think it overwhelmingly likely that it was his decision to direct the use of a nerve agent on the streets of, of the UK, on the streets of Europe, for the first time since the Second World War. That is, that is why we are at odds with Russia. Russia says the UK is trying to mislead its public and deflect attention from its security failures and post-Brexit pressures. The country is in a tight situation connected to Brexit. This is major influence on the government. Now the government is trying to use diversionary tactics to absolve themselves of the tension. And surely such aggression, as I would call it, and also political provocation which is aimed at Russia, is needed badly. Beyond the diplomats and leaders, there's a constant exchange of barbs on Twitter and other social media sites as well. Meanwhile, adding to the mystery, British police launched a murder probe into the death of exiled Russian Nikolai Glushkov. A former deputy director of Russian state airline Aeroflot, Glushkov was found dead in southwest London a few days ago. A post-mortem revealed that he died from a compression to the neck. Glushko was jailed in 1999 for five years after being charged with money laundering and fraud. Later, after the UK granted him political asylum, he became a staunch critic of the Russian president. The case reminds London of another cold-blooded murder of a runaway Russian. Fourteen years ago, former Russian spy Alexander Litvinenko, who had fallen out with Vladimir Putin, had met the same fate. The murder of Litvinenko was one of the most high-profile assassinations of the decade. Litvinenko was killed using polonium-210, which is a rare but deadly substance that was thought to have been slipped into his tea. The 43-year-old had been an officer with the Federal Security Service, the primary security agency of Russia, but later fled to Britain, where he became a fierce critic of the Kremlin. The fact that two Russians who criticized Putin fled to the UK and met an unfortunate end is not being seen as mere coincidence. And that's why finger-pointing began as soon as former Russian spy Sergei Skripal was found poisoned with a Soviet-era chemical Novichok. Bureau Report, Vion.